Well, I think the big issue for Abdel Fattah al-Sisi is not his victory. That was never in doubt. Uh, and state media today are saying that he has won by as much as 95% of the total vote. We won't have official figures uh, for, for perhaps a few more days, but there is no doubt. Uh, this is a resounding endorsement from those who voted, and that's the key point. The problem for Sisi and indeed for Egypt is that a very large number of voters actually stayed away from the polls. Uh, the estimates we are getting at the moment is that turnout was less than 45 percent. Now, Sisi himself, in the final days before the vote, had been appealing for 40 million Egyptians to come to the polls. He said he wanted a turnout of 80 percent. And these figures are critical because it leaves Sisi with a credibility gap before he even begins. He wanted the strongest possible mandate from the largest number of voters uh, so that he could claim to be acting on behalf of all Egyptians. And there is another critical figure in all of this, and that is 52 percent. That is the number of the electorate that came out to vote the last time around in 2012. At, th at that stage, they chose the Islamist president, Mohamed Morsi. And of course, that is the leader, the elect leader who was removed by Sisi himself. So he wanted this very large, uh, very strong endorsement, this very strong mandate to prove to the world that that action was not a coup, that he was acting on behalf of the entire nation. Now what he has instead is a very strong but partial endorsement.